everyone, I'm Allie and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing one of my very first furniture makeovers and turning one of those basic cube shelves into a super cute craft cabinet. You know these shelves I'm talking about. They've been a staple in many homes and craft rooms. I think made popular by the affordability and function of the IKEA Calyx. So I wanted to find a way to update it, make it look a little bit more high end and functional to store my craft supplies. So not only will I be transforming the cube shelf itself, I'll show you how to make a couple inserts to organize your scrapbook paper and other items. So I picked up this cube shelf from Target, but this DIY would work on any cube shelf you can find online, at a different store, or with the IKEA Calyx. First up, let's get the shelf assembled. After the shelf was assembled, I measured for the size of the doors. I wanted them to cover the bottom two cubes, so I needed each door to be 28 by 14 inches. Of course, always measure your own shelf because my measurements might not be your measurements. So now that the shelf is built, I set it aside because I'm going to head out to the hardware store and get everything I need to make the doors and the insert shelf pieces. I went to Lowe's to get a piece of plywood. They will actually cut your pieces down to size for you for free. And I got both of my doors cut and four 13 by 13 inch squares. I am back with my different board pieces. We're gonna get started on the cabinet doors first. So we gotta take these outside and give them a good sand so we have a nice smooth surface to start painting on. So this part's optional, but I'm going to use this wood veneer edging to cover the sides of the boards of the cabinet doors to make them look a little bit cleaner and neater. Now this has been in my stash for a while, so I don't have enough to cover all four sides of each door. So I'm gonna cheat a bit and just cover the top and then the two outside sides of the doors because you're only gonna really see those two edges anyway. So. Let's get started on this step. First, I cut the veneer trim slightly larger than the edge of the board as the instructions say. Then I stuck the piece in place, put some parchment paper down over top, then ironed it on until the veneer adhered to the board. I repeated that on all the edges I wanted to cover, then I used my utility knife to trim off the excess veneer trim. Finally, I sanded the edges. Now that the boards are prepped, it is time to prime and paint. I'm going to start out with some multi-purpose primer on the boards. I've never actually used primer before, so I'm excited to see how it works. I gave both cabinet doors and the four 13 by 13 inch squares two coats of primer on the front, back, and sides, then allowed it to dry for an hour. I had two of these Valspar white paint samples on hand already, so I'm just going to use them to paint everything. It's not the exact shade of white to match the shelf, but I just figured it would work well enough. I did two coats of white paint on all the boards and all sides and edges. Now with the doors completely painted and dried, it is time to attach them to the shelf. I picked up two packs of these white hinges from the hardware store, which will fit perfect onto the doors and the cube shelf. First, I marked the back of the door at one and a half inches. This is where I lined up the top hole of the hinge, then marked all three holes. I repeated that for the bottom hinge. I then drilled three pilot holes in each of the markings using a small drill bit and being super careful to not drill through the entire board. I then screwed the hinges onto the door and repeated all of those steps to complete the other door. 
Next up, I lined up my doors on the shelf until they were centered and marked where I drilled the pilot holes to attach the hinges to the shelf. I'll admit my doors ended up slightly uneven by about an eighth of an inch, which was annoying, but I wasn't going to be too mad since this is my first attempt at making cabinets. To finish the front, I measured and marked where I wanted to attach the doorknobs. I placed them four inches down from the top of the doors and two inches in from the edge. And finally, after doing a lot of thinking, I decided I didn't want to permanently attach a back onto these cabinets because for some reason I may want these to just be a plain cube shelf again. So I used command strips and Dollar Tree poster board to cover the back of the cabinets. If you wanted it to be permanent, I recommend getting a thin piece of plywood or MBF, cut it to size, and then staple or nail it onto the back. Now on to making the shelves for organizing my craft supplies. First up, I wanted to make a scrapbook paper organizer. I measured to find the middle of the board and then marked two and a quarter inches where each shelf would be placed moving up from that middle marking. I then cut four quarter inch dowels into 13 inch pieces using a hacksaw to make the bases for the shelves to sit on. I used my square to make sure the dowels were perfectly straight on the board and then some Gorilla Brand hot glue for a permanent bond. repeated those steps on the other board, then painted the dowels white. To make the actual shelves, I'm just using Dollar Tree foam core board. I cut out seven pieces to 12 by 13 inches. Now you could use wood if you have the power tools to cut it yourself. I just did not want to bother the people at Lowe's to cut me a ton of little pieces to make these shelves. Now to assemble it, all I did was put a line of Gorilla Hot Glue on top of the dowel on one side, attached the shelf, then brought the other side in, put some glue on there, held the pieces together until it cooled. From there to add the other shelves, I glued both dowels, then slid the shelf boards into place. Lastly, I wanted to make a single shelf compartment, so I repeated what I did for the scrapbook paper organizer, but with one half inch square dowel in the middle. Then I glued two pieces of foam core together just to make the shelf a little bit sturdier. Then all I did was insert the organizers into my shelf, and now I have my completed craft cabinet. So that does it for this video. I really do hope you enjoyed following along and seeing how I transformed one of those basic cube shelves into a really cute cabinet. Now you guys may have remembered that a couple weeks ago I posted on my community tab as well as my Instagram asking what kind of cane to put on cabinet doors. Well, the original plan was to put cane on these doors, and I think it kind of needs it. They look a little boring right now. However, when I went to go buy the cane, just 24 hours after posting that, it was already back ordered until September. And I didn't want to wait. I needed to get my craft supplies organized. I needed to get this piece done. So we're going to do this plain, and there perhaps may be a part two where I make this just a little bit cuter. And of course, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!